Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another race simulation here on PCM20 and today we have another classic in Belgium another one with the cobbles it is Kurn Brussel Kurn and I know that I botched that name but it doesn't matter and yep we have another classic after yesterday's classic where it was a very good race with the home loop hit news blade with the win of David Ballerini surprisingly a little bit of course so yeah and uh, as you all know i played with track and the track did nothing really so it's a bit disappointing but yeah and of course we have the major guys for the classics here uh, once again jasper Steven and Matt pedersen we have here stephen kung greg van avramart matteo trenton and christoph who had a puncture on the last two kilometers yesterday was very very unlucky to him really Team DSM with Craig Anderson and Thies Benut, Dylan Toons, yeah, we have a lot of guys here and Matthew van der Poe it seems as well, so yeah, a lot of good guys but I'm going with bike exchange this time because they have a pretty good team in my opinion, we have Dion Smith who can be on the cobbles with 70 cobbles, can handle that a little bit well and heals as well and then of course he has the sprint for the final kilometer of the stage, we have here other guys as well, Jansen, we have Robert Starner, so a lot of guys that can be on the hills and on the cobbles and even the sprint, so yeah, this can be a very good team, so let's see what can we do with them. And so guys, here we are start of the race and uh, it's not a good day for our team, as you can see we have a lot of minus day, we have here just Scottson with a plus 4 day, but he's one of the weakest guy from the team, but still can be a good help today. Leon Smith with a minus one, but it doesn't affect that much on his stats, so maybe he's going to be the guy for us. You Jansen, a plus one, but it doesn't affect that much. Jansen and Robert Sternert both with minus days, and Robert Sternert with a minus three, it's not good at all, really. He was our second guy for today, but I think it's not going to be. And I have Luke Dubridge on front in the breakaway because I want to put someone in the breakaway. And he's on a minus 4 day, so yeah, it's not going to be a good help for for today, so why not put him on the breakaway. The weather is worse than awful today. And so here we are on the first cobble sector, it's just a short one, it doesn't matter that much, but yeah, we have a breakaway of 11 guys so far, and we have one of our team here with Luke Dubridge, and yep, Ineos team has 3 guys here, which is impressive really. How can they put so many guys, one of them being Gianni Moscon. But yeah, let's see if they will get um, enough time or not to win the race. I don't think so, of course, but who knows, we never know what's going to happen. And yeah, let's go into furthermore the stage and see what is going to happen. And so guys, we have a crash in the peloton and we have two guys that crash. Oh my god. Robert Starnert and Dion Smith, both of my main guys had just fallen, what the hell. I need to bring some guys down to help them because, oh my, really, what? So unlucky from us, really, and Matthew van der Poel has fallen as well. And another fall, my god, so many crashes, and Langveld as well has crashed, and now we enter the peloton, but we are very far behind, and yep, van der Poel crashed. That one I did not expect. So guys, we are more or less halfway through the stage, 100 kilometers to go, and the peloton had just break apart. Really, we have a group behind, 57 guys, and some of them is one of my guys. But we have here some big guys. Let's just see: Isagiri, Tim Wellens. We have Aaron Buru. More, I think we have more guys. Dengue and Cole. Nicky Tepstra, so yes, some big guys are here behind, Sonny Cobrella as well, Craig Anderson, oh my god, Edward Tunes, Levins, but they are entering the peloton, but yeah, that couple session that we just had, might just made a big impact to the peloton really, and we need to be careful not to be caught on that and try to stay up front. And in the breakaway it seems Luke Dubridge cannot hang on the pace, and he just got behind, the breakaway is with a pace very high right now and uh, Luke Dubridge has just lost the contact with the breakaway. Come on man, let's try to entering the breakaway once again. And so guys, now 70 kilometers to go. 
the peloton is just trying to catch a breakaway the rhythm is very high as you can see and they are almost over with the heels and the cowl section we still have Luke Dubrich here but I'm not going to push really because I'm just going at my own rhythm to see if I can go to the peloton and help somehow with Dubrich as we are reaching the final part of the cobbles and the heels of the race and yep let's see now and so since we are reaching the the most important bit of the stage it is this big hill with cobble and uh, we just have uh, 60 guys on the peloton and yep the peloton is just breaking apart so let's try to put my guys up front and I'm just going to put a rhythm just these two little trains to see if I can just stay up front and do something see as we are reaching out the, the climb let's see now I don't know if there will be any attacks or not but at least we are in a good position because the road is very narrow come on now let's go now maybe 85 with Dion Smith as well with Janssen let's see if that is possible Starnet is gone thank you you Janssen the same but let's go now see if I can break the peloton that's all I want really and I have Luke Dubridge here as well and so guys after that heel and cobble section we have 27 riders here on the peloton 13 are just behind let's see if there is some important it seems it is Ekhoff, Vanavramat, John Denganko, Burt Smith so a lot of guys and yep Luke Dubridge is here now with us so let's see if I can protect Janssen and just put on the wheel Dion Smith and Scottson and yep the Koenig will work here in front and all of the other teams I'm not going to work yet and the uh, the breakaway is still more than a minute ahead of us so we need to be careful with that but from here on now we just have this hill and it seems they just flat until the end so yeah I think we good I think we did a good job in terms of putting a pace on the peloton and let's continue like this <laughs> no my god guys another fall for our team let's pause it oh my god I cannot believe this it is Dubridge and Janssen and I think it is Steven oh my god what can I do here let's hope that they don't uh, abandon but still I think they are out of the race right now because we are so far behind I cannot believe this my god so we are just now with Dion Smith and Scottson so it's not the best but we have Dion Smith for the sprint so yeah let's see if uh, he can hang on here to the final sprint and in the group that had just had the crash we have Steven Pedersen, Van Poppel, Yves Lampard, Craig Anderson, Brian Cocard, Van Gastel, Laporte so yeah a lot of big names are behind as well that's a good thing for us so that we can re-enter with Janssen because they are putting the pace the other guys but let's concentrate on the main peloton that's all that matters and it seems that up front they are putting a great pace the favorites let's see if I can hang on with Dion Smith and Scottson as we are entering the last cobble sector it's a short one so it's not going to make a difference thankfully and yeah from here now it's just flat until the finish so let's hope that we can use Dion Smith on the sprint and so guys no more breakaway we've just been caught the breakaway when we are on the last 20 kilometers of the race we have still just Dion Smith and Scottson up front but uh, I think it's enough really I think Dion Smith has the possibility of winning at the sprint who knows but of course we have the likes of Van Der Poel here who can be a great danger but he's putting a lot of pace up front so yep he's just out of energy which is very surprising really why the hell is he pushing that much if it's going out of energy but we have Christoph as well here and this is not a good one of course my god Christoph here it's not a good sign for us but let's see now let's see what can we do and Thiers Benut is attacking it seems Thiers Benut is attacking with John Dengenko let's go with Dion Smith to see if I can go up front and the, I just lost my energy damn it but let's see if I can go up front and it seems that he's not going anywhere this breakaway so let's just stop let's use Dion Smith to protect let's use Scottson to protect Smith I'm sorry and yeah we are entering the last kilometers now more guys attacking come on Smith just hang on please 
And now it is Langvel that is attacking Turgis and Nasten and all of the other guys are following. So yeah, Dion Smith here on the peloton still. 36 guys here. I don't know who's going to be the winner really. It's very difficult to predict. But let's see now more attacks. Turgis, Oliver Nasten. Come on Smith, do not lose the will of this group. That's all I want. Let's try to go up front and now a big attack is happening as we are on the last 5 km. Let's use the energy gel. Scott, sir, what are you doing? Okay, you are pacing. That's good, of course. Let's try to use Dion Smith. Somehow, I really don't know what to do, damn it. But I think we are going to cut these guys up front, which is good. Oh my god, what wheel should I pick for the sprint, really? I don't know. No more attacks. We are on the last two kilometers now. Let's see. Ties Benut is launching. Let's put a pace ourselves. Let's go. Last kilometer now. Dion Smith launches the sprint. I don't know. Maybe it was too late to launch the sprint. My god. And the win is for Merli ahead of Fabio Fellini and Nils Pollitt and Alexander Kristoff just on a fourth position. And my god, I should launch the sprint much earlier. Dion Smith with a lot of energy remaining. Cannot do better than an 8th place. So yeah, not a good result I believe. I think we should do a little bit better. But it is what it is. And the, the winner is for Team Merlier. Which is a very hot winner in my opinion. And, and yeah guys, what a race this was really. Very exciting with a lot of breakaways and a lot of little groups. And in the end a very hot winner by Tim Merlian ahead of Fellini and Nils Povet and yep, Dion Smith just on 8th place. We could have done a lot better in my opinion, I know that. But still, it was a very strange race. Anyone could win really and it, in the end it was for the guy from Alpacin Phoenix. And so guys, it, this is the final classification and uh, I'm just looking at the stats of Tim Merlier and maybe he was the leader on this opposite Phoenix with 77 sprint and uh, maybe this is why Van Der Poel was pacing up front on the group although he's a better rider but he's not that quick so maybe that was the strategy and maybe this is a, a fair winner I cannot complain really because if beaten guys like Fellini, Nils Pollitt were not great sprinters of course Christophe and Demar are great sprinters but maybe they were on a bad day who knows and yeah like I said, Dion Smith 8th place, not a bad result, a top 10, but I think we should do a lot better, I know that. But once again, it is what it is, it was a very good race nonetheless, and uh, let's hope that today, and let's hope that later today we can have an exciting race, just like that one that we have here. And yep, this is it for now, stay safe, bye bye.